Jordan. This is the New York Sports Machine on WICR. What's going on, everyone? Antonio Coppola, Tommy Hen, back with you. What's going on, guys? On this Thursday. And uh, we're going to do a little hockey today. Uh, big game last night. Uh, NHL season opened up for the Rangers. And, Tom, they go into Chicago and they spoil that banner-raising ceremony. Let me tell you, I'm glad they did because that lasted way too long. And I'm sitting there trying to get my stream to work. And I keep seeing them lifting this banner. I thought it was just a stream leg. And it just turns out the ceremony was way too long for me. And that's not just because I'm salty. It's just that, you know, I do like the organization. But, you know, it's nice to see the team go in and kind of spoil the fun, my team. Absolutely. And I had a sense that, you know, from from the beginning of the game that the, Ra- the Rangers were kind of pissed. They they prolonged that whole thing. They were pretty well, uh, annoyed I'll, about the whole thing. They came out, you know, on I'll, all I'll, cylinders. I'll tell you, you know, you know the Rangers' history these past two years, how close they've come. And just to see this whole thing and this extravagant, they have the Cups present and mm-hmm. – that definitely set some, uh, set the jet engine going there. So I don't know. And that first period was excellent with, uh, with three goals, one by um, newcomer Oscar Lindbergh. He had his first NHL NHL goal. Um, then it was, oh my God. Then it was uh, Stepan who had it later in the game. And help me out here. Klein. It was Klein. How can I forget Optimus Klein, who <laughs> scored the second goal? And that was pretty good. It was um, for. They had an incredible first period. They kind of petered out in the last two, which I don't like. But mm-hmm. it is the first game, so what can you expect? You know, it's we're not going to just come out and be just going off on a streak, a win streak, like how we used. Like I don't know, it's not what I. That's not what you'd expect, and that's not what I'm expecting. But much right. as I'd like it, but well, I want to get I want to get into you know the outlook for the Rangers this year because obviously the past couple of seasons, uh, Stanley Cup final they lose, conference uh, finals they lose. Um, it seems like every year in the playoffs, the Rangers are, you know, they they face. Right, a bu- right. No, go I ahead. was gonna say they faced a bunch of seven game series every single year, oh, yeah. and I feel like that's what tires them out. It's you see, I we have this team. We have a great. We have I'm part I almost cursed, but they, we have a great team, and they we have all the pieces together. We got some new guys who are gonna do well for us, and I, I hope so. Um, it's just that I don't know all our effort. It it, it kind of it comes down to the end. We fight, we fight, but there are times where we kind of could score more and we could get more goals. We have Rick Nash, who's worth a lot more, like worth a lot of money, and he should be getting a lot, a lot of goals. How he did in the regular season, he had about forty two goals, and playoffs he had like I don't know, we got like three or four. Like we need, we need more, we need more presence from Nash. We need more shooters. We need a lot of stuff going on mm-hmm. that can be improved. We have an excellent team. We have a great group of guys, and the fact that he keeps going to Game Sevens isn't something to be. Like isn't an achievement. They brought that up when we lost against Tampa. They said, "Oh, they have undefeated in Game Sevens uh, at the Garden." Or Hank's undefeated in Game Sevens. Stop talking about Game Sevens. It's not yeah. a good thing. It's not. Th- that means that you're. J- it's, even though you're coming back, that's great. But you shouldn't be a team that's just shooting for a Game Seven. I know they're not, but a lot of people are looking at them like, "Oh yeah, they're the Game Seven team." That's not what they're trying to do at all. No shot. Uh, well, I want to. G- no, I absolutely understand what you're saying. I think that the. Them drawing out series, like even in the first and second rounds, is what kind of tires them out mm-hmm. uh, on their way through. Uh, I want to get a uh, couple evaluations on some players. Uh, Keith Yandel, how did he play last night? Yandel was good. Yandel was good. We're gonna f- I'm glad we can finally see a you know full season right. with him. And you know he he did well for himself. He played some good D. I um, you know I'm I'm pleased with how he did. He got he got some uh, he had some good presence on the ice, and you know he he you know made his shifts worth something. So I'm glad about that. I am. I think JT Miller also uh, played pretty well. He had a couple assists. Uh, mm-hmm. I want to get your thoughts also on the end of the game because it's, it looked like the Blackhawks almost tied the game and there was a controversial yes. call. So take me through that one because I'm not a huge hockey guy. Yeah, yeah. I kind of saw what happened. But well, my, I mean, for a moment, my heart did stop. I was like, oh, we're going back to like playoff-style Rangers hockey, one-goal ga- one games, OT games. But mm-hmm. thankfully, it came, what it came down to was it was trapped under Hank's um, right – leg it was under his padding and it was just inconclusive evidence after going through the whole thing replaying it the puck the original play was that the puck was blown dead and the goal was no good and being that there was no concrete evidence of whether Hank let it in or he stopped it or they pushed his leg or mm-hmm. they pushed the puck they had it the original call stands so they can't just alter okay. it if there's no conclusive evidence they can't alter it 
It has to just be it's the, the first call goes. That's it. Gotcha. All right. Well, that that was uh, kind of a scary moment because oh, you know yeah. they were they were looking like they were going to take the game. It was three mm-hmm. two. Final minute of the game, Chicago you know presses and, t- and they almost score. And I'll tell you, I like I like that organization, but I have to hear that goal song every time. It oh, just drives gosh, me nuts. Yeah. Oh yeah. my well, god. We'll wait till they get a a game in the guard, and obviously. We won't talk about the Knicks today, but the Knicks uh, kicked off their preseason last night yes. in the Garden. But uh, the Rangers will be back soon. All right, and finally, season outlook, Tom, for this team. Give me your uh, your thoughts, uh, how the division you think will play out, what the Rangers' ceiling is. Do you think they have the roster, the talent, to go back and repeat uh, okay. and reach the conference finals I'll, again? I'll tell you something. This this team is has, I mean, for the most part, been left untouched, how, it's, how they were the past two years and, like, how they've been. Um... I really think that this year could be our year, definitely. If we make, if we all make the right moves and these guys are really give it their A game, which I'm sure they will, I think this could be great. I think we could, this could be the year that we really take it. And that's just, you know, it's a bold prediction, but that's that's what I think. I feel like we have the team to do it, and this is our last big shot before we rebuild. So that's I've been saying that for months now, and that's 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 how I feel about it. I agree. I, you know, Vigneault, obviously in in his first year here uh, here in New York. He took the team to the uh, Stanley Cup final last year, conference final, but he did improve record wise. So mm-hmm. I think that I think that this year. Oh, uh, he's he's been an excellent coach. Right, he's been tremendous. I, I think night and day from Tortorella, who is I was never a big fan of. Yeah, he was just like I don't know. He he was just more about the aggression, and he was more about just playing defensively. Yeah. And not really relying on just speed. And there was a lot of guys who whose main talent was speed, and he just didn't really utilize them well. And then it kind of just right. You know, we, we all know how that unfolded. Yeah, but anyway, I think I think Vigneault, uh will will do well with this roster. I think that they'll improve. Uh, but we'll be back next week. Uh, how, who do they play next? Who's next up on the schedule? We got Rangers? Columbus. At, we got we're at Columbus, and then we have our first home opener on the tenth with Columbus again. It's so right. back to back. So we'll be back to break down uh, the next few games for the Rangers. Stay tuned. Alongside Tom Meehan, I'm Antonio Coppola. Have a good day, everyone. All right, take care, guys.